This video will describe how to use the diagnostic sensor test found in the Genmega ATM. This feature was added in software version ending in .39 across all models, but it does require an ACU6 or an ACU7 mainboard. You may want to use this diagnostic sensor test if you run into a error condition on your machine where you don't understand what the code means. For example, a dispenser code showing a block sensor or a printer not printing because there is some kind of a sensor jam. Using this sensor test will pinpoint exactly which sensor is causing the problem and show you if the problem has been corrected. Let me show you how it works. To view the sensor diagnostics, enter the operator function menu with using the master or service password. Select ATMOP, and then you're gonna select diagnostics. If you don't see diagnostics, it means you entered with the wrong password. You need to use a master or service password. For within the diagnostics menu, we're gonna press enter on the keypad to enter the sensor view. The sensor view screen is divided into three sections. This top section is for the cash dispenser or CDU. This middle section is for RPU or printer. And this bottom section is for MCR or card reader. The CDU section will show you the firmware, current firmware version installed in the dispenser, the type of dispenser installed in the machine, in this case, it's SCDU3, and then this matrix will show all of the individual sensors in that particular model dispenser and their status. If it's red, then there's a problem. If it's white, then it's okay. Um, in this case, like SKLA and SKRA, these two sensors here, those are the sensors located right behind the cassette when the money leaves the cash cassette and enters the belts. If we press the number one key on the keypad, we'll get this diagram of the dispenser, which shows all of the sensor locations. Here is SKLA and SKRA right behind the cassette. And as the money follows up through the dispenser, through the belts, you'll see the different sensor groups, GTL and GTR. These are the sensors as the money travels up the back and starts to head towards the front. And then we have an exit sensor. There is the uh, reject diverter sensor. In some cases, you're going to have a sensor in for the cassette, uh, a near end sensor. Uh, some model cassettes, specifically like the 2000 no cassettes, have a sensor inside that'll tell if the cache is low. So uh, you'll see different sensors for each different type of dispenser uh, based on what's in the machine. Here I've blocked the exit sensor, where you can see the flashing light saying exit, and I've removed the cash box so it's flashing over the first cassette. That indicates that there's a problem, there's some, either something wrong with the sensor or it's, in this case obviously it's blocked or the cassette's been removed. If I was to remove my block, and from the exit sensor, then the flashing light will stop. So if you run into a problem where you see this flashing light, you can try and correct the issue, either cleaning the sensor off or unplugging the connector and plugging it back in and see if you can get the, the problem to go away. If not, then the sensor may need to be replaced. If you believe that you've corrected a problem with the dispenser and you'd like to test it, from within this menu, if you press number two on the keypad, It'll initialize the dispenser and show the results here in, in blue. In this case, it came back okay. The same thing can be done with the printer test. On the printer section, it'll show you what printer firmware is currently loaded and which model printer, in this case, a two-inch printer. And it shows the status of each of the sensors in the printer. If I was to open the green lever on the printer, then this sensor shows that it's red and that the green lever is open. And then if I go ahead and close the green lever, then now the sensor status shows that that's okay. In addition to the lever sensor are the paper check sensor, the paper feed sensor, the cutter sensor, and the jam sensor. Finally, there's a card reader section of this test. Uh, here it will list the current version of firmware located on the, in the card reader, and it, there's only two sensors. The card reader has a sensor when you insert the card, and then when the card reaches the back of the reader. If you insert your card, you'll see both uh, of these sensors turn red, indicating the card's installed, and it will latch onto the card. 
Then just press zero on the keypad and to release the card. As the card comes out, you'll see both sensors turn gray. That shows that it's, those sensors are operating properly. In summary, this diagnostic sensor test can be really helpful. If you have a dispenser error code related to a sensor or a printer error code related to a sensor, and you're not certain which one is causing the problem, use this sensor test to pinpoint uh, and hopefully resolve the situation. If you have any questions, please contact Genmega Support.